Please all stand and let us pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and suffering of this day, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishop and all the clergy, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of March. For victims of abuse, we pray for those who suffered from harm from members of the Church. May they find within the Church herself a concrete response to their pain and sufferings. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Eucharistic Celebration. Today is Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. Please welcome our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Danichi Wee. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctify by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the brother Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, 
bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God whom we serve can save us from the white hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if you are not, know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men unfettered and unheard walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who looks into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews 
who believed in him. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the Son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the good works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. My friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Topic about being a follower is what our readings would want us to learn. Being a follower. And according to our readings today, there are two kinds of follower. The first kind is the follower of Jesus. The first kind of follower is the follower of Jesus. And this is what we heard from Jesus himself in our gospel. According to him, if you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciple. You see, a follower of Jesus will make you a disciple. Jesus will make you a disciple. Therefore, to be a disciple, you must remain in Jesus' word. Kailangan nating manatili na sumusunod sa mga salita at utos ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Ito po yung ibig sabihin ng pagiging disipulo o pagsunod kay Jesus. Ibig sabihin, yung aral at utos ni Jesus ang sinusundan at susundin, hindi ang katauhan ni Jesus. Kaya malinaw po, hindi porke nagsisimba ka, tumatanggap ng kumunyon, nagdadasal, nagdedebosyon, ikaw ay disipulo. Hindi po. Dahil sabi ni Jesus, ang pagiging disipulo 
ni Jesus ay ang pagsunod sa mga salita, utos, at aral ni Jesus. Nung nasa Kiapo pa po ako, madalas kong sinasabi sa mga deboto, hindi ibig sabihin nagpunta ka dito pag biyernes, hindi ibig sabihin pumapasan ka, nakikipiesta, nagdidebosyon sa mahal na poong Jesus na sareno, ikaw ay deboto. Hindi po. Dahil ang pagiging deboto at disipulo ay may pagsunod sa mga utos, aral, at salita ni Jesus. The first kind of follower is the follower of Jesus. And if you are a follower of Jesus, He will make you a disciple. Gagawin kanyang disipulo. The second kind of follower is the follower of sin. This is what King Nebuchadnezzar would want Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego do. To serve and worship the golden statue that the king set up. But it is clear it is clear to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that it is a sin to worship false god. Ito kasing si Haring Nebuchadnezzar gusto niyang pasambahin sina Meshach, Shadrach, at Abednego sa kanyang ginawang Diyos-Diyosan. Meron siyang ginawang estatwa. Gusto niya yun ang sambahin nung tatlo Pero malinaw sa tatlo, kina Shadrach, Meshach, at Abednego na kasalanan ang sumamba sa Diyos-Diyosan. Dahil ang Panginoon lang ang dapat nilang sinasamba. Yun ang gusto ng hari. Pero dahil malinaw sa tatlo na ito'y kasalanan, hindi niya sinunod ang hari. Hindi nila sinunod ang hari. Sa huli, binigyan sila ng parusa ng hari. Ang parusa ng hari, hinulog sila sa naglalagablab na apoy. Sabi dun sa first reading, pitong beses pinainitan. Grabe, no? Salbahe. Hindi sinunod dahil ang pinagagawa niya ay kasalanan at sila'y hinulog sa apoy. Pero tinan nyo, no? ganyan ang follower ng sin. If you're a follower of sin, it will make you a slave. You see the difference? If you're a follower of Jesus, He will make you a disciple. But if you are a follower of sin, you will become a slave. Alipin ng kasalanan. Alipin ng kasamaan. Alipin. Ito yung turing ni Haring Nebuchadnezzar kina Shadrach, Meshach, at Abednego. Dahil sila ay pinasusunod kahit hindi nila gusto. At kapag hindi sinunod, sila ay may parusa. This is the difference between a follower of Jesus being a disciple and a follower of sin being a slave that when they fail to follow, a disciple would receive a consequence while a slave would receive punishment. Ang alagad kapag Nakaligta ang sumunod sa Diyos, may consequence na matatanggap. Pero ang alipin kapag nakaligta ang sumunod, merong kaparusahan. Because God will never punish His disciples. Kaya naman si Shadrach, 
Mishak, and Abednego nung hindi nila sinunod ang hari, pinarusahan. Di po ba? Hinulog sa naglalagablab na apoy. Pero niligtas sila ng Panginoon. May anghel na nagligtas, nag-alis sa kanila sa naglalagablab na apoy. Another difference between the two is that a slave is being asked to follow even if he does not want. Ang alipin, walang kalayaan. Susundin mo lang. Ganyan ang ginagawa sa isang alipin. While a disciple is never forced to follow. He follows according to his free will. Binibigyan sila ng kalayaan ni Jesus. Kaya nga, sabi niya, if you remain in my word, you have a choice to remain or to leave. You have a choice to follow or disobey. My dear brothers and sisters, these are the two kinds of followers that our readings defined. It's now up to us to determine which of the two best defines us. A follower of Jesus, a disciple, or a follower of sin, a slave. Amen. Please all stand. God is the limitless source of truth, freedom, and power. We are limited in mind, in spirit, and in body. Let us ask God to bring us all persons to the fulfillment He intends for us. For every prayer, we shall say, Father, make us whole. Father, make us whole. That all who seek the truth may have their minds open and freed by the message of Jesus and His Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That our devout practices this Lenten season may serve to free us from bondage to excessive self-concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That our involvement in the materialisms of our day may not deter us in our quest for everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That the sick, the poor, the prisoners, the ignorant, and all those who suffer may find freedom from their lives' burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That the Lord may unbind the faithful departed and let them go free in the kingdom of his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. Gracious Father, your Son died that people might know and live according to the truth. Free us from our own narrow views and self-interest so that our minds and hearts may grow toward you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies of our healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him, the host of angels adores Your majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. Mere voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. stand let us pray
May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protect protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Only you can determine what kind of follower are you. Lastly, a follower of Jesus will make you the best people, while the follower of sin will make you the worst people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. And worthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your Divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection, and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to, want to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity, we have sinned against our brothers and sisters, we have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy, May we always live as your truly devoted children. Mary Immaculate, star of the morning, chosen before the creation begun, destined to bring through the light of your dawning. Conquests of Satan and rescue to men. Bend from your throne at the voice of our crying. Look to this earth 
where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God, we sinners all nor your sinless perfection. Hold and and we, for God's mercy we plead. Grant us the shield of your mighty protection. Measure your aid by the death of our need. Bend from your throne at the voice of our crying. Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. Please kneel for the Novena prayer. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus you gave to us for your mother, you are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. He strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, Teach justice to the oppressors and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassion intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we chose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they may always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers to your loving care. We especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making a home a heaven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. 
Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health, Holy Mary, Holy Virgin conceived without sin, our Mother of Perpetual Health, we sinners call to you that we may be faithful to the promises we made at baptism, that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men, that we may be more and more like the Divine Lord as you were, that we may meek and humble of heart like your Son Jesus, that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin, that we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance, that we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life, that we may pray daily with love and trust in moments of temptation, that we may understand the value of worshiping God in the Eucharist, that we may grow in the love of Christ to neighbor by frequent communion. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. That we may strive to be true Christians by loving concern for others. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. That we may forget, forgive from our heart those who have wronged us that we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others, that we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods, that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community, that we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service, that the Holy Spirit may God and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops and the clergy, that we may be blessed in increase of priestly and religious vocations, that we may care and protect God's creation, that we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death, that there will be genuine and lasting peace to the world, that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know him. That we may be aware of dependence of God in the midst of human achievements. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May our experience show God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be a mother and ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Please rise. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the joys that fade and flee, but Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I long to see. The bliss untold which your arms enfold, the treasure upon your knee. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, I toast on a stormy sea. Only oh, your child. As a beacon light to the poor, where I fain would be, and Mother of Christ, 
Mother of Christ, this do I ask of thee. When the voyage is o'er, oh, it stand on the shore and show him at last to me. Please kneel for the thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly really present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be a mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially to the Novena, inspire us with great confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love to the most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor and glory and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. In order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience, graciously hear our prayers for the sick, especially this one. Grant they do who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may experience of God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can may continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Please rise. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, at marami pong salamat.